Well, good morning. It is Wednesday, June 24th. And I'm up early. I've been working for about an hour. It's 5.43 a.m. right now. And we're in Capture One. And the vultures are pretty tame, but on occasion I'll use the pier railing as a blind. I'll come in, get out of my car, park it at the base of the pier, and then I'll get right next to the pier and start walking forward tight into the pier until I get pretty much on sun angle and I can do vertical headshots then. Now you'll see when I put the uh, highlight warning on that the bill is burned out, which is what you want. It's just an indication that it's close to being overexposed. But you're looking to get uh, as much detail in the dark tones, but I'll generally edit with that off and then check uh, the exposures in raw digger. And with the A7R4 files, I use the loop at 50% with so many pixels. If you switch it to 100%, let's see what happens. Yeah, these are quite amazingly sharp. And these are all at 1200 millimeters. So you see I'm at F10. I've stopped down a third, two thirds of a stop from F8. An incredible detail on the uh, A7R4 files and then really shallow depth of field. You get to the top of the head, not as sharp. So I made these two, horizontal and a vertical, and then I decided that the birds seemed pretty copacetic with my presence, so I went up on the pier and trick here is to move very, very slowly. You can see most of the vultures flew off except for two. One black vulture and one turkey vulture with the red head. And this is at the end of the shooting actually, uh, where I wanted to get a cell phone shot to show the situation. You can see in the picture, but my tripod, the legs are pulled in. So the tripod is much taller. So that lets me get blue water background. And I'm going to go back. I'm actually looking good at the 100% loop. Usually I'll use the 50% with A7R4 images. You'll notice that for the black vulture, I'm right on sun angle. A little bit off. And again, the reason I want the tripod high is so I can shoot sort of down maybe get a little of the green and not get much of the pier background, the distant T of the pier. So I get in position first frame. I'm using tracking flexible spot medium on the bird's eye. You start with it in the center and then you can recompose. So here I figured I can just crop from here, get rid of this. But then I just did a little bit better with tracking flexible spot and came up with that. I moved the bird a little bit more in the center of the frame. And you could see the sharpness again at 1200 millimeters. You know, with Nikon, sadly the 2X was garbage. It works fine with the 300 28, 70 to 200, but not with the 600 or the 500. Then from the same spot, I frame a little bit differently, putting the bird up in the front. And you see the power of tracking flexible spot. Uh, being able to have the AF point move around in the frame, stay on the bird's eye, so you can compose exactly as you want it. And all of the uh, Sony AF tricks are in uh, the big Sony guide that I did with Patrick Sparkman. And if you use Sony, you don't have the guide. You're really missing out on a lot of the potential of this great system. Now I'm a little bit closer on the turkey vulture, a little bit higher, pulling the tripod legs even more. Get some green at the bottom along with the lake. And then from here to here, I probably took 
from here to here probably took a half a step in closer. Uh, Vulture looks like he moved back a little, so I might have gone up a step or two. But as far as head angle, this is good. I'm going to actually go to 50% loop. This is good, but I far prefer that. It's just a slight head turn towards us makes it seem that the bird is more engaged with us. What I don't love here is this one out of place feather. So I actually could have pointed the lens more to the right and possibly gotten the end of that feather. Easy to do with tracking flexible spot. Notice now I'm at f11 from f10. And that's what we're aiming for. Another nice head angle. Now I've gotten taller again. I've got some of the green. And then decided to go for the black vulture. More than the turkeys, they wind up with a bunch of crud all over them, but easy to clean that up with the spot healing brush and the patch tool. Get rid of that little white thing on the top of the head. And again, we'll go back to 100%. And give you an idea of the beautiful sharpness. Then Turkey Vulture walked a little bit away from me. So I'm able to use tracking flexible spot to make to go for a juxtaposition image. And I actually like this one. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I had a second one in there. Ah, I deleted it because it wasn't as good as this one. And then back to the vulture again. Incredible detail. And gee, I don't know how those two got out of order. <laughs> well, actually, I did this and then I went back to that. That seems strange. But anyway, so between these two, this one and this one, oh, two different ones. Okay, one in the front with the out of focus vulture in the back like them both. Anyway, we signed up the first person for the Fort DeSoto IPT. Actually, second. So we hope to see you somewhere. Hope you're well and staying out of trouble. Love you much. Cheers.